Hello everybody, this is Johnny here with NDI. Today we're going to do a little quick review about the Tilta Nucleus N, which is the Tilta Nano wireless follow focus system. You see it here in the table, we have all the different things that come with it. Uh, two batteries, actually you only need one, but you can give it two so you can keep one charging while you can use the other one. Here is the charger, which kind of kind of cute in the sense that you just have to put the battery between them, plug it in, USB, plug into the charge, and that's it. A little adapter so you can put it in the back of the, the wheel, which is the controller, so you can actually attach it and be able to put it anywhere you want it, and on your tripod and so on, and, and etc. At the same time, this thing in the back here have control, I think, for Ronin S or the Crane 3. I'm not 100% sure which one, but it's the one that you can use. I had to check the manual again. This is a little tiny receiver. This is why you put it next to your lens gear and then we'll actually move it. Very small, very tiny, very cute. Unfortunately, do not have any power in it, so you have to do is you need to get a power bank like this, or you can use a D tap, P tap batteries like this to I'm not this another that. that. Wrong battery. <laughs> or you can use a battery, thank you, Scott. <laughs> battery like this for D tap and P tap uh, to power this up. Or you can use any type of power, uh, power bank like this one too. I'm sure they all work. Should work. What I like about this system also, they come with a little quick release plate that you can actually touch the rod onto it and put the nano onto this part of it. Uh, it's a really, really very nice thing they put together. I really like this a lot. Uh, there's a little clamp here for Ronin or Crane, uh, Crane 3, I believe. And then you have all these different kind of uh, L-Range adapters that you can use to screw up things, screw it together. What I don't like about it is you have to use three of them different versions. There's three of them to use one for this part, one for the bottom here, and I think one for, for attaching this to the gimbal. It comes with the micro USB ports. Is it micro or maybe micro USB? And then there's also an adapter for the rolling, I believe, that you can use. But again, you can find out a lot of information about this uh, follow focus system uh, online. But today what we're going to do is do a real test to show, show you how it works on the Blackmagic Packet Cinema 4K camera and on GS5. All right, guys, we're back here. Right now we are using the Nano, uh, Tilda Nano uh, wireless follow focus system with my GS5. You can see it's actually attached to the Meikke T2.2 Cine lens. That's the one of the cheap lens you can get for about $389. But it does a really great job. Uh, to be able to get this going, you make sure the channel is the same. And obviously, I'm going to go through the same thing that everybody has been doing, is how to set up correctly. You just YouTube that, and you can find a lot of tutorial how to set up correctly. So all you have to do is turn this on, press a couple seconds. You turn on, make sure the channel is the same, 9, 9. And one thing that I really like about this is the auto calibration. So this uh, cine lens it does have a stop between the end, both endpoints. So the, for the follow focus to be able to recognize there is an endpoint and doesn't go over and uh, damage anything else, you can do is you press the calibration button for, for a couple of seconds to three seconds, actually three seconds. And then you're going to see what's going to happen. You actually go one end, one point at the end of the lens, and you go to the other side of the lens. And you got to calibrate it. So what we're going to do is going to try to calibrate, uh, focus between nucleus, the title, the, the box that come with it, to the camera in the back. There is a slight delay, uh, but I don't think that's a major issue. And I've been told also that the um, receiver can get from 5 volts to 17 volts of bad power in, which means that the higher the voltage, the stronger the motor can go, and then the better it can control a heavier lens, like the Sigma 1835 or any, some of the Cine lenses. However, in their website, they do say that this is not, not really for uh, official Cine lenses, but more for the photo lenses that can use with Cine gears. So that's good, something you have to keep in mind. But overall, this is really good. I definitely like this a lot. Extremely quiet. You hardly can hear it. The next thing you can do with this, you can do set A and B set. So with A and B set, all you have to do is 
watch monitor here, or you can just feel it by your hand, is you can first set the first point, press the set button once, it shows the letter A, and that's one thing I, I think I'm going to have a problem with because I'm almost blind, and this thing I cannot see whatsoever. No matter how close or how far away I, I look at it, I just cannot see. So for my case, I'm going to need to use a magnifying glass or magnifying uh, uh, or the phone to be able to see what was said. But most of the time, you don't need to worry about this part. So once you had set A done, you go to B section, and then you press the set button again. Now you're basically speaking, controlling only the A and B point of it. It doesn't go over whatsoever. Not bad. And to reset everything, you press the set button again, and that's it. Now, why do you need this? If you use a lot of Tilda products, you definitely want to consider one of this because you can actually be compatible with the broader uh, version, the Nano, I'm sorry, the Tilda M, Nucleus M. So you can actually use their motor system, their wheels, and you can actually control it a little bit better. Uh, other than that, if you use their Ronin S, this is actually pretty good. Uh, other than that, by using by itself, it's not really a problem. Just had to get used to a little slight delay. We're going to try now with the Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema 4K camera and uh, the different lens to see how that works out too. This time we have the Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema 4K camera with us. And this have the, that's a Canon lens, it's a zoom lens with a little adapter in the gear and also attached to the Metabon uh, system. So the difference this time we're doing this, we're actually feeding out the power for the Tilda Nano from the D-Tab battery here. So it's go all the way here using a D-Tab to mini USB cable, which you can get on Amazon or Tilda website for about $25 to $30 and then attach here. The difference here you can notice is it's way more responsive. So if I go to here and then go to the other one, see how fast it gets. It does the same normal speed that I was using earlier. So that, like what Tilda have said, uh, the more power, the, or rather, the more wattage you provide to the uh, receiver, the faster and more, less latency you will get when you do the follow focusing. So that's pretty cool. We're going to try again now with the same setup, but using a USB power bank. Okay. And here's Scott, the owner of the Black Magic. He is our Santa. <laughs> He's going to try to uh, make the changes. While I really appreciate how Tilda had made this uh, receiver so small, I started to feel like you should probably put the power connector area somewhere else, either the, you know, facing outward here, the, where the panel is, the screen is, or facing the bottom, because it makes it much more easier to control. So we're using a, now we're back, and we're using uh, the huge battery here by using the USB out all the way to the re receiver. And this one still has very responsive. Is it responsive? Yeah. Now let's try again with that battery, the blue one, the, the, the portable one. Yeah. Here's a cheap one that we use usually to do extra, extra charge our iPhones. And uh, we'll see how the delay is. Yeah, there's a delay. That's a huge delay. Not huge, but there's a, a minor different delay. What do you think, Scott? Is there a delay or not? <laughs> yeah. And also, I had to turn the wheel a little bit more uh, to the extreme to be able to get the, the focusing going on. Okay, and that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.